following video will demonstrate how SMS Turbo can be used to create simple tickets in conjunction with the SMS Turbo orders option. Relative information for this fictitious scenario is that the City of Houston has contracted the user of SMS Turbo, Wasteland Waste, to receive demolition debris resulting from the cleanup efforts after a major hurricane. The City has contracted three service providers, City Salvage, Reclamation Services, and Texas Environmental to collect the debris and bring it to the waste facility. They have issued Wasteland Waste three purchase orders representing the three service providers. They have asked Wasteland Waste to provide separate invoicing for each purchase order. During this video, we will create one ticket for each purchase order. At the end of the video, we will demonstrate how you can automate the invoicing process into a separate accounting package. In this example, we will be using QuickBooks although many other accounting interfaces are available. We'll start our first ticket by clicking on the insert button in the ticket browser. We start by entering the truck number of the truck on the scale. You will notice that the customer is automatically recalled and entered because we have established a relationship between the truck and the customer ID. We also notice that City Salvage has been selected as the purchase order. This is because City Salvage is the largest of service providers and we have set them as the default purchase order. We capture our weight by clicking in the weight field. We select the material, construction debris, as the default and select OK. We store our ticket. We simply recall the ticket, capture the light weight, and finish our ticket by clicking the print or print and store button. We move on to our next ticket by clicking the insert button, entering our next truck ID, and changing our purchase order to reclamation services. Again we capture our weight, OK the default material, and store the ticket. Recall the open ticket, capture our lightweight, and print and store the ticket. Moving on to our third ticket, we enter our truck ID, capture our heavyweight, OK the default material, store the ticket, recall it after it's unloaded, capture the lightweight, and print and store the ticket. To generate invoices from the tickets created in SMS Turbo, we simply click on the billing button. When we do this, the appropriate interface to an accounting application is opened. In this case, we're using QuickBooks. This can be done as often as you would like, but is most commonly done daily, weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly, depending on your business practice. Once the accounting interface is open, you have options as to who you would generate invoices for. You may choose to do a range of customers, a range of orders, a range of material categories, or a date range. You can use any combination of these filters. In most cases, you would do invoicing for all tickets from the last time you did invoicing to today, as is our example at this point. We are going to choose to do our invoices in this sample in detail, which will give us a separate line item for every ticket and every material per invoice. The navigation line above allows us to pick the company that we would use for the accounting application. As with QuickBooks, you can have multiple company files. We have selected the example scale company for this demo. We simply click on the OK button. The system asked us to confirm that this is what we would like to do. We say yes. It asks us to confirm that this is the correct company record. We say yes. At this point, negotiation is taking place between SMS Turbo and QuickBooks. Once the invoices have been recorded in QuickBooks, the system asks if we would like to mark our tickets as invoiced. We would say yes, and our tickets are completely invoiced. When we go back and look at any of our tickets now, we will see that there is now an invoice number recorded in the ticket record. This can be used to tie us into the accounting package. When we open up the QuickBooks program, 
and look at invoices, we will notice that there will be invoices that match our tickets that were just processed. In this case, we see the ticket for purchase order Reclamation Service 1000 dated today and due 30 days from now. It references ticket number 1,036 on today's date for 5.9 tons at a rate of $78, an extended amount, and tax would be applied if appropriate. We will see that another invoice has been generated for City Salvage that involves four different tickets from SMS. Ticket number 1,033,34,35, 35, and 37 with the appropriate weights, rates, and extensions.